you start? Start it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm I'm making a geodesic. I'm not a geodesic. Um, I'm making a, um, a Archimedean solid, which is called a icoso, uh, truncated icosahedron, which I'm using my own technique, which I um, make out of uh, paper, which is cut up into lengths and rolled up into tubes and then assembled. So I'm going to, um, I have this pre-measured here. And um, so I'm going to, what I did is I measured it to the same dimensions because all the edges are the same length. And so I, what I do is I measure it and then I cut it uh, to the length. And then uh, what I do is I, I have this, which is one and a half inches across and the entire page um, wide, length, height, or whatever. And then I cut it into about one centimeter pieces. I get about 20 or 30 per uh, section. And this is a, a truncated icosahedron which is based on a protonic solid called the icosahedron, and it has 108, you know, 90 edges, which um, I build, I build it in faces, which actually doubles in the amount of edges, so I will have 180 edges to create. So, I cut them, try to cut them all about the same size, the exact thickness of it, it does not matter too much as long as it's about a centimeter. Then what I do is I take each of these and I fold it or roll it into a, a near, very tight tube about one eighth inch wide. And the important thing is that you don't bend it or fold it anywhere in half. And you just make these pieces and just like this i'm going to only do like a, a number a few of them and then i'm going to move on to the next stage just so you can see how i roll it into tubes like this okay so i'm just doing a few of them and uh, these are all like cut to the same length because um all our comedian solid solids and platonic solids have edges of the same length Okay, now I'm going to move on to assembling. Once I get uh, six, I'm going to assemble a hexagon. And um, so I have three more to make here. And this shape, it has hex, uh, uh, I forget how many it is, uh, 12 hexagons, and, or no, 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons, yeah. And um, as I, you see over here, show this one, um, I have it, the pattern of this is five hexagons around one pentagon. Every pentagon has five hexagons around it. And I now zoom, bring the camera over to what I'm doing again so I can see what I'm doing. I am almost finished. I have five here. I'm going to grab one more from somewhere. And I'm going to show you how I glue the ends of this together into to making the hexagon. Now I start, I put just a little dab of glue on the end, and then I approximate a 120 degree angle, and then I move it around. And this can all be done very, fairly quickly too, if you're um, getting, getting very good at it. And once you get four edges, on here the edges should be parallel to each other every four edges apart that makes it uh, a hexagon so I make sure I keep it nice and flat and these are parallel to each other and um, I use only as much glue as necessary because to use too much glue would not uh, give it a good connection see these have to be parallel to each other. Every opposite side is parallel to each other. And the last one, I put glue on both. Nice. 
a part of the film got ran out of batteries before it did completed it. But what I did was I made the hexagon and I, I made a pentagon, which is uh, it has a sharper angle than the uh, hexagon, and there it leaves a small gap, and this gap will fold it up into a partial uh, a dome like shape. And uh, what I should have done is I actually should have glued it onto the pentagon and done all six, uh, I mean all five hexagons around the pentagon first. And um, so I'm back to uh, this where I cut the tape. And for each edge I put two of these tapes onto it. That secures it good enough so it won't wiggle around but I can still fold it into the shape. And I glue them edge to ed edge. I don't overlap. You know, there's no overlap. I usually start by sticking one onto the shape I'm gluing to and get that secure. And I put it onto the uh, hexagon which I'm attaching to it. And then I <clears throat> squeeze tight so it, it, the glue can adhere. And I do this for all five hexagon faces. And there will probably there will be twenty hexagon faces in total. And okay. okay, so I have made the uh, pentagons which are have sharper angles than the hexagons. And um, I am attaching five hexagons around each pentagon, which is the pattern of the um, truncated icosahedron. And um, so when I'm done with gluing all these five hexagons onto this pentagon, I will basically fold it and glue the remaining edges together into a closed 3D shape. Not fully closed, but it'll be part of it. And uh, when you continue this pattern, eventually you'll close it into a spherical-like shape. So the importance is that you don't put too much glue, but you, you put enough glue so it covers the entire thing. And um, then you start, you put it on one side, and then you wrap it up. I mean, on the second one, you can just wrap it around the whole thing. Anyhow, uh, the strips can be no thinner than this one right here. No thinner than that. And then much thinner than that, and uh, you don't have enough of a tape. But you always attach it to one first, one side first, when you're first starting. Just put it securely, then you uh, attach the uh, other face hexagon face and then you wrap it around like a tape and uh, secure it. The entire shape will be made entirely out of just paper and glue and that's all. And then this is almost done here. Yes. Okay, then what you do is you take the, the tapes, and I usually start from the outside one, the, the furthest, where the gap is the biggest, just so I can close it more quickly, like this. And I attach, sometimes I attach it to both, and just hold it tightly. You want to have it match up nice and evenly with no gap in here without overlapping either. And what it will do is it will fold up into a three-dimensional shape. You just want to make sure you get enough glue on Hold there. Hold it. All right. Did it stop? No. Oh, no. Okay, you're good? Yep. Okay. And uh, then you do all of the edges, five, uh, five, the five gaps now, two tapes on each one and you 
uh, also might try to you know mold it uh, like shape it into that 3d shape as you're going along too so that it and you don't try to squish it into a flat because this is not going to be a flat thing it's actually going to have a slight curvature see and so I have two more edges more to uh, put together and uh, so I'm also going to ex show you how you add another the other pentagon to the, the uh, that will happen afterwards but, uh, I always make sure you have plenty of these strips that are about say an eighth of an inch wide maybe a little more and you can cut some of them up in advance you know they should be between a half inch long and a three quarters inch in length you don't want them too short because they will not be able to give a secure um, connection and uh, you put just keep putting glue on each one and use a minimal amount of glue because too much glue will not be any better than just the right amount. And I will try to work as quickly as I can now. So, yeah, I'm um, continuing on. I have two more gaps to uh, fill. I'm actually, because I st put it on here and the gap is bigger here, I'm just going to bring these together first and make sure that the vertices line up. And then I'm going to take these together and make sure that it's nice and tight. And uh, then I'm going to just seal it up as if I'm sewing up this thing with you know, tape, paper strips with glue on it. And as I tape it, I actually push it, force them together just a bit. But each edge will have two tapes, just for security and stability. Okay, so next, after you get all this done, you're going to start on the next round of hexagons surrounding a uh, pentagon. So you will need a pentagon somewhere. It doesn't matter which place you put it, but the pentagons never are next to each other like this. That's important too for this shape. Um, you never put uh, any two hexagons right next to each other. Start by attaching a strip to the hexagon and then to the pentagon, lining it up perfectly as possible. And this method of building can actually proceed quite quickly once you get uh, good at this. Anyways. Uh, you know, if anyone can do it faster, then I would encourage you to try, and I can post a YouTube video or whatever of how fast you do it. And maybe there might even be a Guinness World Book of Records for, uh, you know, s assembling uh, Archimedean solids in this fashion, but I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, just a, a little bit of a joke class so maybe not anyways you want to try to do it neatly but like I just did that wasn't neatly and uh, it's not fully glued so you go in 
and we put more glue and we just finish it and do it neatly. And, um, and then keep going. Now the way the way I do it, it, it is not perfect. It's just kind of rough and that's good. But it will make the shape that it's meant to make overall. Which is a truncated icosahedron. This one is, at least. Now, you, you work from the uh, pentagon that you just put on, and you're going to add four, or no, three, actually, because it's next to two, you're going to add three more hexagons around it. And um, if it comes next to a hexagon, and you're gonna, it's going to attach the hexagon and the pentagon. But I usually, in this case, attach it to the pentagon first. So I attach all the, the remaining hexagons to the pentagon first. Like this. And once you, you can keep going with this pattern, and eventually you'll just end up with maybe one or two pieces that will close the last remaining gap. And you'll have your completed shape. Which I'm not going to show entirely. I'm going to finish this and then later add a, a bit of a video to show the finished product after it's done. Go. And okay. And anyways, um, back to the uh, truncated icosahedron construction. This is the finished model. And so I hope you've enjoyed my presentation on how to build a um, a uh, uh, platonic or Archimedean, uh, Archimedean solid with um, paper and nothing but paper and glue. And that's it. it was, it's a wrap, I think. And uh, this is just a sign I made for it. And you just film that close up, whatever. And get the sign. And then it'll be wrapped.